hello everyone and today we have another graphic card for repair and the problem on this graphic card is uh, I think it's better if I just read you a message from a customer um, let's see a few days ago my power caller 390 went out on me uh, I'm not 100% sure why it took me two days to finally figure it out it was my graphic card symptoms uh, sometimes shows a distorted picture for a second before going black mm-hmm Mobile LED indicates it's a graphic card issue. Switching HDMI ports from a graphic card to motherboard do oops, does nothing, which means it registered the graphic card connected to motherboard, which is so true, and uh, continues to restart when a graphic card is connected. Uh, very frustrated, but there is a good because after searching for a fix, I came across a channel, I made the channel by the way, thank you so much. So I'm willing to send you my graphic card, thank you so much, Andrew. Um, what Andrew says there already happened to me a couple of times, I'll just try catch it on camera because it happens randomly, it usually happens under the load, and let's see first there if it happens to us on a bunch mark. Um, oh, okay, okay. So it just actually happened. Um, that's a typical die of a GPU, uh, and uh, I already contact a customer, and he agreed for repairs. So me, you, and this graphic card will meet together in a two weeks. Okay, it comes in a box, which is. Thank you very much. All right, up front, up front it looks nice and clean, looks acceptable. I don't really see any cracks or, or a couple scratches, but that's fine. Um, and on the back, well, this chip been definitely rebolt from what I think, because uh, this is 0 0.45 millimeters balls and the new chips uh, they usually come with the 0.5 millimeter balls we will be absolutely definitely will be tell while installing this chip if uh, it's gonna melt on around 170 degrees then this is lead containing solder which is mean uh, yeah uh, it been rebolt with the uh, uh, reboling balls um, okay let's put it aside in any way we're gonna install it and check it out how it works. And let's have a little talk about the, our graphic card. If you watched my previous video where we also had a 390 graphic card, we had a problem with this face. And uh, from what we see over here, power color, they're a little bit knowing a problem about this uh, face that it gets sometimes overloaded. So they put a little radiator over here, which they get a little plus from us. But let's go from this little plus to have a huge, huge minus, which is, um, there's no fuses at all. Uh, even comparing our previous card with this card, our previous card was just tucked with the fuses. On this one there is just none. Well, in this case, if there is any uh, power issues, it all depends on what uh, kind of star you was born. If you was born on the lucky star, then you're just changing out the transistor and everyone is happy. In the worst case scenario, of course, if those 12 volts eventually through this transistor will go to your chip. Another thing, uh, what could happen is there uh, like on this card. That's already something drilled and tried to sh track a short, but was unfortunate. And um, <coughs> yeah, this already whole graphic card goes like a donor, but actually what very surprised me she was good and I already used it on another card uh, what uh, so uh, as a bonus we will try protect our card and uh, what phases we will do is this one that powers up those two phases this one powers up those four phases this phase which is hiding under the cap is the powering up our memory and this one right here it powers up our those two phases. Mm. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, think something about it. I'm alone. 
I'm a broken home, I gave you all the bricks that I own and know I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down If you want adventure, then fly to home But if you wanna travel, then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go Ultimate PCI Express uh, on this graphic card uh, as well. I really quick uh, did go um, over all main powers and didn't find any shorts or low resistance, so uh, we are ready to try and uh, launch it for the first time. Let's just prepare one multimeter. Oh, and of course, I'm plugging out with hard drive. We have a picture. Been testing this card already for quite a long time. So far, no issues were found. I'm very glad how it works, and um, it makes me just a ha ha ha. Uh, that's how actually our fuses looks like. Or probably not that beautiful. But I did my best, but yeah, beauty. That's not something I'm concerned because. Um, I'm more concerned with durability right now. I really don't want that any short will kill our chip, our, excuse me, brand new chip. So um, let's just show you how other looks like. 
Okay, and let's test it out together how we can see driver is installed perfectly fine. And um, yeah, let's go over. Mm -hmm. I like how temperature is, is increasing on this chip as well. Um, it doesn't go uh, over 70 degrees and it increases very smoothly. There is no rapid peaks or anything. Just lovely, lovely. Mm, so here's our jolty guy. Please put likes, dislikes, subscribe for more repairs and I'll see you in another video. Thank you. Bye.